Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make backgrounds using regular objects. Because when you're playing a game, there's always something in the background. And whether you notice it or not, you definitely notice if there's nothing there. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow along as I make games and give out tips on things that I'm doing on the BuildBox Discord forums, asking people what they do for backgrounds. And you can add PNG images, some high resolution ones, if they're below the horizon line. That works actually pretty good. As opposed to anything more, nobody had any suggestions. It kind of just makes me feel like I'm the only one. Let me open up the game I am working on now and give you three main things you want to look at when adding objects to your backgrounds. Background. First thing is you can pick any object ideally if it kind of flows with the theme of the level That would be dope here. Let me show you this example of I use pyramid and you can see this is a pyramid and I just changed the angles of it and then I recreated another pyramid with different colors but similar and I do this because I've seen it in other games where you have like a light version and a dark version they'll just be side to side almost in this kind of checkered pattern straight up pyramids and because BuildBox 3 is in 3D it looks really dope so let's just let me show you what it looks like He's going through the level and the pyramids slowly emerge from the fog. So your first step is you want to pick an object. The second, you want that object to be a contrast color. Now if you notice, the background here is blue, which is the contrast of pink. I'll literally open up a color wheel because I want to know what the exact color opposite it is. So here we have blue and blue is more towards orange, but the next two is pink and a yellow orange. And those two also work well as a contrast color. There's lots of different color wheels and even websites that help you find that good contrast color so be sure to take advantage of it I'm doing that all the time at this point I think I would have remembered the exact contrast colors of all the different colors but honestly I don't need to I can just google it so look at the opposite color that you're looking for so here I'm looking for the opposite color of blue and then also be sure to look at the, the the ones around it, the next two. Personally, I just think blue and pink work really well in this scenario. Here you can see I have some balls. So I just added balls throughout the scene. I made them really big. These actually don't do anything and they're only specifically for the background effect. So let's take a look. And then they slowly come into the screen. And that is primarily due to the fog. And I'll touch on that in a moment, but I just want to show you some more examples of different shapes and things that I have done to add background. Here's a good one and here you can see I took the contrast colors of purple and pink and combined it with the background of blue. And these are just rectangles that have been made to look longer and these fit the theme of the level. So let me show you the level. And basically you're just avoiding being hit by the squares. And here's another level where I just added kind of like a checkers on the side. Let's take a look at that one. Here you can see I added long cubes at the bottom. Now this looks dope and wait till you see it in action. I just want you to get the full view right here. So now let's jump into it. Now while the level has a lot going on, the background rectangles are moving up and down. And I think this is a great way to utilize the background because nobody's really focused on it. If they look at it, they will be distracted and hopefully die. Now how did I do that? Let me show you right now. So this is called Pep L Blue. Let me find it Pepel blue so here I just used a simple wave node this wave node only moves in the y direction at a speed of 2 and by adjusting this you can adjust the speed at which the cube moves up and down and how far that's a fun effect and the last and most important thing is the fog you want to have fog enabled because it allows for objects to slowly come into view the fog start distance and fog 
and distance. I have at 3,500 and 4,000. Definitely play around with this for your game. For me, I found that this works very well and I like the way the objects come into play. That is how you add cool objects to your background in Build Box. What are some ways you add background elements to your game? Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.